Hi, good morning and welcome to our Meditation on Grace. Today is the 10th of uh, April and I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. We are talking about how the God, God's grace is given us, gives us wisdom, so our way of speaking will be changed by God's wisdom. Instead of proclaiming whatever comes to our mind, we are going to proclaim what God has given us to proclaim. We are going to sow uh, gentleness, we are going to sow love and not uh, slander and uh, things that are going to destroy ourselves and others as well. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So this wisdom, this knowledge comes from the fear of the Lord. It's not saying here that there aren't other ways of, uh, uh, of wisdom in the world. But what it, this text is saying, that without the fear of the Lord, knowledge is nothing. And uh, even if God could be weak or, 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 or mad, or not wise, God would be still wiser and stronger than us. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25 says this, For the foolishness, foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. So God is all-powerful, almighty, He is full of wisdom. And it's that sort of wisdom that we need. But in order to have that wisdom, we need to fear the Lord. What, is it, what does it mean to fear the Lord? You'll find many different explanations in the internet, but uh, there is one that I like it's, that says that the fear of the Lord is, uh, is the reverence that we have for him, the respect that we have for him, because we consider that he is bigger, much, much, much bigger than us. And then we respect him. When we follow Jesus, we follow him because we have uh, realized, we have received the revelation that he is God, that he is our Lord, that he is our Savior. So though he called us friends, we fear him. We have a great respect for him. And we know that our only hope comes from him comes from above, as says Jesus to Nicodemus and Paul when he writes to the, to the Colossians. From above, so we realize that we need him, that without him we can do nothing. We, we know about the, the death of a very important prince who died yesterday on the 9th of April, who lived a long life. We would like to live as a, a long life like him, in good health, if it's possible. But we realize when we see people like the famous people dying, that we all die. Poor, rich people, famous, not known, we all die. And when we die, our wisdom goes with us as well. But here we are talking about an, an eternal wisdom that is going to change our hearts completely. And when your heart is changed, you are going to speak according to God's word, according, according to God's joy, God's hope, God's love. And that's, that's the way. That's the way the God, God is teaching us. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools says Romans chapter 1 verse 22. When Paul is telling the, the Romans that they were, without Christ, they were dead. But then he says to the Jewish people, we were as well. Because even when we said we, we were wise, we were stupid because there was no fear for God in our lives. We didn't recognize God as being God and thus as just creatures. God bless you.